Alright guys, here we go, we've got the new rack ready to go in. I've just replaced the uh, the old tie rods. Um, not a great deal we're wrong with them, like they're still reasonably tight. But while it's out, might as well just replace them for you know, a $20 item. Um, I'm using the Global Tie Rod N Engineering 3455. Um, there's also TRW, another good brand I'd recommend. So yeah, I've just put these on loose. So when we go up to bolt it up, there's a bit of play. You just put your shifter on there and you can turn them around and adjust them. Um, but first of all, what we're going to do is just put some flushing fluid through the old lines. Alright, so this is the oil I'm using. It's a Valvoline, if you know what I mean. And it says it's for Ford EF to FG. So we'll just put some flushing oil through. Uh, that's a good idea, just get rid of any of the old oil out of the lines. Alright, so let's go, we'll put some of this in here. And uh, we'll watch that come out the bottom. It's coming out both lines, that's good. Alright, this is the uh, area you got to work with now. Plenty of room here. So you can see that little wiring harness I was talking about before. Uh, it's a speed sensor. It changes the uh, pressure on the rack when you're on the highway and when you're running around uh, shopping centers. Um, there's the, the yoke. I only took out that one bolt. Didn't need to do the one on the top, so that was quite okay. All right, so we're about to um, get this into place and start putting it all back together. All right, so we're looking at the O-rings now. This set here in the middle, top, that's what came out of it. They kind of crushed. This came in the kit with the rack. I didn't realize that it came in the rack kit. So I've got a set of um, O-rings here. On the left, we've got uh, Imperial. And on the right, Metric. It does appear that these racks are, in fact, Imperial still. I couldn't remember, so... I got a couple of um, packets, but it does look like that, uh, look, it's supplied with the rack, so that's great. I'll just use the ones that it's supplied with, but for anyone else there who needs to know what the racks, uh, sorry, the O-ring size is, it does look like they're definitely imperial. Um, 5 sixteenths on the inner, and I think it was around around 7 sixteenths on the outer, but don't quote me that. Um, but that's, that's about the size there. All right, definitely in this kit. Um, there's two in that kit. Two in the metric, but like I said, I don't believe that it's the metric because they look just a little bit too much bigger. It's only a whisker. So yeah, I'm putting my money on the Imperial. All right, let's get to putting this rack in. All right, so we've got the uh, the rack bolted to the K-member. Um, the only thing I'm not real happy about is this stud here that's gone through. I might get a lock nut to put on that, some, some thread lock just to get that to stay in position. Uh, we're nearly ready to locate, see how this all lines up. You can turn this shaft here to get this to line up properly. I'll see how close we are. Just take the bolt off and see if that lines up first go. They are pretty tight being new. All right, that's going in pretty good. I'll have to tighten everything up. Usually you gotta just put a lot of pressure on there and uh, tighten up that bolt nut, 18 millimeter. All right guys, so if you've left your steering wheel in the right position, um, getting this universal joint on isn't a major issue. You come from above and then just simply get it pretty close. See that bolt hole there? There's a bolt hole there lines up with that spline there okay it should just go on one way and just shake it on give it a bit of a wriggle so it lines up it's down low enough you can put your bolt through and tighten it up just keep wriggling it till it lines up all right we're just about done here be ready to fill her up and check the system for leaks all right so we've got the 10 mil on you see there's not a lot of clearance there then there's this dust shield that goes over the top. Be very careful putting your O-rings in. You don't pinch them. You'll soon find out when you put the oil in and 
oil will piss out all over the place if you muck that up. It's under about 200 psi pressure, so you know it's not going to be very forgiving. If you fuck up that, it is going to leak, and it'll leak usually pretty well straight away. There's no second chances with the uh, O-ring seals. All right, guys. So I'm just at the section now where I'm putting in these tie rods. See how that just slips in nicely? Pull it out, just go straight in. I did move this shaft to get that to do that, but that's what you want. You want it to go straight up, and that's pretty close to where you took it off. Um, now that would probably be okay, but I will take it down for a wheel alignment, only because I'm pretty fussy. And um, we'll just check it, see how close it is. It's probably only out by about 10 thou, who knows. All right, let's go and put some oil in this thing and start her up. All right, guys, we'll put about 700 mil in there. A little bit throffy, there's air bubbles in it. So you to go left, right, left, right, left, right, give it a break. And do it again in another five, ten minutes. Check for leaks. Put the uh, everything back together, all the bolts back in, and away you go. Have fun, guys. Till next time.